guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2007 Mini Cooper hatchback. This one is finished off in a pepper white exterior, which looks great on the vehicle. Coming up to the driver's side of this Mini, as you can see it obviously is riding on aftermarket wheels, which look pretty good on the car. Right here you do have your fuel cap on the driver's side, and in typical Mini fashion, your body cladding along the bottom. Chrome door handles, and up top this one does have tinted windows, which look fantastic, and on days like today they make a huge difference in Side. Up top, this one is equipped with the dual sunroof, as well as you do have your radio antenna right there, and body colored mirrors up front, turn signals right there too. On the rear of this vehicle, you can see the window tent follows through your Cooper badge, and single tipped exhaust down below. Coming up to the passenger side, this one is riding on Hankook Optimo tires, which really look to be fairly new tires. They're in fantastic shape. They are 175-65R15s, so you do have 15-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes on this one as well. And overall, these minis are such fun cars, and this is a uh, pretty well-optioned one. Also very fun with the manual transmission. You can see up front halogen headlights, chrome grill, and fog lights. Started up, it does include your typical mini heave up with lock, unlock, and trunk release. And inside, you can see what I mean about that window tint. But stepping inside, especially with the black interior, it keeps it very cool. You can see this one is equipped with the carbon black cloth interior, which in the middle, you can see the very neat uh, checkerboard pattern on them. This one also does have all weather floor mats. To start it, put on the clutch, insert the key, and just push. And close the door. And inside of this Mini, as you can see, you do have a leather wrap steering wheel right here, your audio system controls on this side, cruise control on this side, and your center display right there, which as you can see, this one has just over 84,000 miles on it. On the door, all padded material up top, padded armrest right here, and padded material on the door. Your power mirror controls, close your door handle right there. Storage down below, and this one does have the piano black interior trim. Your air vents, as well as the piano black trim on the dash, all of that does follow through. Up top, all padded material, it fits together great. And right here, you can see your middle display, which does have your radio on it, audio menu, all of that, everything will come up here. You have your speedometer, but you also do have a digital speed readout, which will uh, show up on there, too. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in is up underneath of here, and you do have a CD player. Single zone, automatic climate control, nice and simple to use, everything right there. Your windows, they are one-touch automatic. And power locks in the middle as well. Up top, you have your auto dimming review mirror, interior lighting controls, as well as ambient lighting controls right here. Which, when you have the headlights on, will pop up around right there, as well as up top. And as I said, you can change the color of it. All kinds of different things. It looks very nice. And then down in the center, you do have two cup holders, your cigarette lighter right there, which this one does appear to be a non smoker. Sport mode on and off, ASC on and off. And like I said, this one is equipped with the manual transmission, the six-speed manual, which Mini really knows how to make a gearbox. These vehicles are so much fun with the stick. You can just row them through the gears all the way over and up for reverse. Back here, parking brake. You do have more storage in the center and another cup holder back here. Seats in this vehicle, even though they're the cloth seats, which are a little more rare on the Mini Coopers, they're comfortable and it's nice because that you don't stick to them in the summer and they're not freezing in the winter. They're very comfortable and supportive cloth seats too. And especially in a car like a Mini where you'll be doing some spirited driving, the cloth with these bolsters does hold you in very well. Your backrest adjustment in typical Mini fashion is in the center for both sides. This one also does include your original window sticker right here. As you can see, 2007 Mini Cooper. All your different options and everything like that, and your fuel economy. We'll go ahead, put this back in the glove box, so it can be included when the vehicle is sold. And we'll step out of this one, put the automatic driver's side window down, right there. And pop the hood down here. You can access the back seat, just pull, like that.
inside of the trunk of this Mini. Your cargo cover up top which does tether up here and it will lift up. As you can see, this one does include your cargo net from the factory. You can store different things under it, stuff like that. Underneath all of that, this one does have your jack storage and everything else down there. And it also does include a spare, actually a spare two cargo nets over here. Back seats do fold, nice and simple. Just drop them like that. You get a pretty nice amount of room with the seats folded down in this vehicle. On this side, everything else follows through. We'll step into the back seat. Just to show you, I am 6'2". This is definitely not a car you buy for hauling people. But I'm 6'2". I can fit back here. I have plenty of headroom. And if I needed to, I could even bring the seat back, and you can see my legs do touch it, but you still do have room for a person up front. Honestly, not a bad place. You can definitely, children will fit back here, but if you had to, you can definitely haul people in the Mini. Do have storage on the side, your handles, and up top the sunroof, which does have the cover. Same goes through on this side, and your ambient lighting. And up front, as I showed, glove box down below does include all of your owner's manuals and window sticker. And up here, you have another storage compartment with your wheel lock keys inside of it. And up front on this one, halogen headlights, fog lights, and under the hood, this one does have Mini's 1.6 liter four cylinder. Everything under here is in fantastic shape, running great. And since this is the naturally aspirated model, it definitely is a bit more reliable than the S. Bring that back down. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. And as always, cut the vehicle off right here. Move the key. And cut the headlights off. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.